Hello and welcome to my channel guys. This is Hemant and today we are working on replacing the stock uh, carrier windshield. Uh, so we have to start with unscrewing some screws. So I'm going to replace it with the Yamaha Phaser uh, windscreen that I got from a local shop in last Nagar for like 200 rupees. I had it uh, uh, drilled with uh, holes from a f local fabricator as you can see I was not perfect so I had to re-drill some holes like all the holes actually and uh, yeah we are going to do the fitting which is kind of a tricky one if you are new at it so let me try to show you how to do it so that uh, you don't have to you know uh, trouble like I did so yeah uh, you don't have to remove this panel but uh, for easier access and I have to replace the screws as well because the old ones are it has taken tools because I've removed it a couple of times and the rubber parts are broken so I have to open this at, as usual you have to unscrew the allen key uh, screws two screws and then uh, four screws are there which I will unscrew with the smaller allen key so this is the one for the these two screws just unscrew it this uh, you unscrew that take off the panel the speedometer panel entire thing uh, just mind the wiring as usual and don't cut into wiring just remove it from the bottom so that the click locks will be released and the entire cover will come off just like that and i'm trying to show you the mangled broken rubber screws so all four of them are gone so i bought it uh, new from ktm funwell and it, it costed around 38 bucks or something so those are the screws let me remove take one out for you so that's the new one that's how new one looks like So you place it there as you screw it the rubber part will fold on itself and that's how it fixes itself on the uh, front of the headlamp I mean the top of the headlamp so let's take out the screws yeah it's some other cover so the part uh, the price is different it actually cost 38 rupees Indian rupees so with the allen key uh, remove these four screws so once all four screws are out you can take out the number plate bracket as well as the windscreen the stock windscreen and uh, yeah separate it from uh, the number plate bracket like so keep the screws safely although we have new screws just keep them handy just in case for rainy days okay now on to putting the new uh, windscreen so as you can see you have to remove the old screws which is a little bit tricky uh, because they are well stuck inside uh, so I might have to break uh, the older rubber thing so that one came off easily this one is uh, stuck very pretty well in there so I'll come back to it later on mm -hmm. uh, okay so that one is troubling I might take the help of I'll keep to push it so let's try the other ones uh, yeah as you can see I have to push it really hard from behind so that it will come off but it's not so I guess we have to take the Allen key so yeah sometimes it comes off easily but I mean some screws came off easily okay so as you can see the uh, that one came off from uh, inside rather than outside so 
because the, the rubber part is broken basically so yeah so three are out this one is still troubling me I'll grab an allen key and push it from inside and probably will break it completely in the process but that's okay we have a new one so there is your allen key just try to push it out and as you can see I broke it and removed it successfully so those are your screws old screws as you can see they are not in a very good shape that's why I decided to replace them so yeah let's put it aside get the fresh ones so you have these four rubber screws that you will place one by one into the sockets like so And then comes the tricky part you have to align the number plate bracket as well as the holes of your new windscreen and uh, then put the uh, screws back I'm us using the washers from older screws uh, because they didn't give me washers so remember to uh, remember not to lose them and yeah So now we'll fit the windscreen, clean it up a little bit, it's a little bit dusty and uh, move on to the task, it's actually going to be a task to you know align the bracket uh, of number plate and the windscreen on top of your headlight. So let's get on with it. So I've placed the rubber screws already as you can see in four uh, sockets. Now, I'm going to try and align everything and fit the uh, uh, bolts, the allen key bolts uh, into the rubber socket, uh, rubber screws, I mean the rubber bolts, whatever you want to call them. And that's going to be a task. So here I'm trying to align everything. Uh, you have to get the first bottom uh, screw, anyone left or right in and uh, then the other bottom screw uh, the allen bolt i mean and once you do that uh, you can fix the rest of the uh, rest of the two allen bolts so that uh, you can easily fit all all the allen uh, molds into your rubber nuts or you can call it uh, rubber sockets So I ended up taking the entire headlamp section out because uh, the rubber uh, rubber screw, rubber nut, whatever you want to call it, fell into the headlamp. So I removed it, fit everything, and uh, now I'm tightening the Allen key, uh, Allen bolts. I mean, and uh, tell me in the comment section if you want to see a video where I remove the entire headlamp. You just have to. Uh, disconnect the sockets for uh, your uh, uh, indicators there are two one for each indicator and one headlamp socket so once you remove that the entire headlamp comes off and there are four little different different screws but so let me know in the comment section so yeah here we are tightening things make sure the rubber parts folds on itself so I'm trying to show it I'm not sure if you can see it uh, so once the rubber parts folds in like so uh, your windscreen will be steer, uh, sturdy so let me try to show you show you the same thing so it's like uh, it should stick out couple of millimeters couple of uh, like two three to four millimeters uh, once you screw it like from inside you should uh, see the allen bolt uh, 3 to 4 mm and uh, the rubber part folded on itself so that 
uh, you know you can assure the fitment is like sturdy and uh, it will not come loose uh, with the vibrations of engines and everything so just make sure of that so i am i'm judging with my other hand on the bolt and i'm uh, straightening it from outside so that i have a judgment uh, of how much uh, fitment i want from the allen bolt so once i'm satisfied with that i'll i'll be happy all right i'm happy with uh, the fitment now i'm trying to show you how much the allen bolt should stick out and the rubber part should hold on itself so that it will be held perfectly so i'm trying to show it all four screws or uh, nuts are in place now and i'm happy with the fitment and it looks sturdy so it looks good so thanks a lot for watching guys uh, like the video subscribe if you really like the video and want to see more of such videos so goodbye take care and see you all in the next video